All right, before we actually write some equations of parallel and perpendicular lines, um, I want to review really quick. What two things do you have to have in order to write the equation of a line? You absolutely have to have a point. And if you'll remember, all points come in the form of x and then y, right? Um, normally we're going to call this x1, y1 because it's a one point, um, the x and the y values from that point. Now what else do you have to have in order to write the equation of a line? Do you remember? <laughs> Gotta have the slope. Must have the slope. And if you'll remember, slope is designated by the variable m. Okay, now once you have those two things, there is a formula that we use to write equations of lines. And that formula, if you'll remember, is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Just keep writing that over and over and over again until you remember it. Okay, let's actually work a problem. Oops, went up a little too far there, didn't I? This one says uh, the line L is perpendicular to the line y equals negative 4x minus 4. Okay, so we have a line L that they have said is actually this line right here. There's our line L. And they said it's perpendicular to the line y equals negative 4x minus 4. So that's this line right here. Maybe that will make it a little bit more clear what we're doing. They want us to find an equation of this line L right here. This is what we're writing the equation of. Uh, it says express your answer in slope intercept form. Well, okay, let's take this from what we know. You have to have two things in order to write the equation of a line. You've got to have a point, and do we have a point along line L? Absolutely we do. We have a point that is uh, 0, 5. So that's going to be our x1, y1 right there. We also, though, have to have a slope. We, they didn't give us a slope. Now, because they've given us a picture here, we could you know count up and over, rise and run. But to be absolutely accurate, we can figure out our slope that we need off of this line because what do we know about perpendicular lines? They all have opposite sign reciprocal slopes. So the slope of this line, it tells you right here in the equation, is a negative 4. So what would be the slope perpendicular to that? Well, it would be the opposite sign, so it would be positive, and then the reciprocal of 4, which would be 1 fourth. So this tells me what slope I'm going to use in my problem. And now we can use our equation, which was y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, and we can fill in what we know. That would be y minus, our y1 is 5, equals m, which is the slope, is 1 fourth, times x minus the x1 value is 0. So now we have y minus 5 equals, when we distribute this out, 1 fourth times x is 1 fourth x, and 1 fourth times 0 is 0, so we don't have to worry about that one. Now to get it into slope intercept form, which is what they wanted their answer in, we have to move our 5 over, adding 5 to both sides, we get y equals 1 fourth x plus 5. This is the equation of line L, which is per uh, perpendicular to this line because they have opposite sign reciprocal slopes.